were those ancient Celtic signs, the marks you left on my eyelids. Your mouth wandering about, making a Swedish journey in place of that Irish trip I never seemed to make. Your eyes with that inner Irish sky I catch in glimpses between the lines of your poems. Your lips are tongues, the meeting of mouths. This is the moment to decide at which station this train will stop. It never stops the train, the life, the ingoing movement that attracts and repels hearts and bodies. I'm a traveler these days, from sky to earth or the other way around. Who knows about directions anyway? Falling through fall, like autumn lets its leaves fall, through my transparent heart, from immeasurable distances with the sound of birds precipitating, still singing, hitting the ground like my shivering hope for love worth dying for. Meanwhile, kissing an Irish poet could mean losing a friend or making one. We leave marks on the surface, runic marks on granite mines, where time grows slowly, waiting for the inevitable hoping for the unreachable. Friends or lovers, strangers in a crowd of falling feathery souls, mutually singing the ground hitting from below. Writing a letter to an Irish poet, you have your abandoned ocean, I have the forgotten ocean of rocks covered with moss in an ancient forest. You've got your carry people, I've got roots in Viking ground. Time laughs in the gray waves, in the rocks, in the birds falling, singing through your eyes, hitting the ground of my soul. It's not madness, just a bit of confusion, a timeless language, a glimpse of an Irish sky, where larks are marks of unreachable eternity. Kissing an Irish poet, is mutually singing for no reason at all, except the fact that we are falling through the fall of our lives, with the ground hitting from below. Love, you can spell it L-V-E-O, or V-O-E-L. It's never the same in any direction anyway.